In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an IMX wallet and make sure you're prepared for the upcoming Aluvita sale. The first thing you want to do is head to the Aluvidex website. The link is in the description down below. On this website, head up to the MetaMask wallet on the top right, click on it, and make sure that the wallet you want to create an IMX wallet for is connected. Once you have made sure that, that is green and connected to the Aluvidex, what you want to do is click on connect, connect here again, wait for this here to load, click on get started, another MetaMask wallet is gonna pop up here saying which one do you wanna to connect to. You can scroll down and select the wallet that you want. Right here, we're going to pick tutorial because this is a tutorial. Confirm it up here, connect to tutorial, the address, click on connect. This is now requesting a signature from IMX. This is absolutely fine to click on sign. Once you've done that, it's gonna say set up an immutable X key, set up the key. You're gonna get another MetaMask pop up saying that it requires yet another signature. You can again click on sign. Once you've done that, it says setup complete and you are good to go. You can click close. And as you can see, you've created an IMX wallet linked to the address in your MetaMask. For the upcoming Aluvita sale, you will need to deposit some funds from the layer one Ethereum network into the IMX network. To do that, just click on this, click on deposit, and you can choose what tokens you want to deposit. You can choose ETH, USD or SILV2. As far as I'm aware, the only currencies that are gonna be valid for the Aluvatar sale is gonna be ETH and SILV2, but you can click on what one you want and go ahead with this. Once you have deposited whatever currency you want, you can head to a Muta scan, connect your wallet, click on my wallet, and balances and you can see whatever is in your balances. I've got nothing in here because I haven't transferred anything, but the moment you transfer your SILV2 or ETH, you should be able to see it right here. That's it guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll catch you guys next time, peace.